Jason Voorhees. Very excited about that. Sean? Yeah, Jason Voorhees comes with, uh, of course, there'll be a skin pack with him mm -hmm. uh, that all the combat pack people will get automatically, as well as, you know, the uh, day one part of the combat pack being the uh, samurai pack mm -hmm. with all those skins as well. Right. So we're very excited for that. So Jason Voorhees, of course, we showed today, and he'll be available. Do you, make, do you, make, do you need to make a quick call? Or? Oh, no, I... I <laughs> hey, guys, my phone. I put that down there in case anything happens that goes awry, oh. so I know. So everybody... I'm Tyler Lamb, down the community special here at NetherRealm Studios. Now, some good studio head, so uh, you know I help everybody keep everything going as much as we can. I've uh, been here for quite a while. My first NK game was Shaolin Monks. That's been a bit. Yeah, yeah. And you can fire me at any time during this whole this stream. I guess technically. But let's not. Yeah, I would want to at least ask a couple other people first. Sure, that's fair, that's fair. Uh, we also have some uh, special guests. I just dropped my, my Coke here, sorry. Uh, my, my, my caffeinated beverage. We have two guests today. We got Mr. Brian Shard over here. Hello. And uh, Dominic Cianciola. Is Hello. That, is that good? Cianciolo, but it works. Hello. Okay. Man, mm -hmm. I've gone through the gauntlet with last names in these streams. <laughs> so they actually worked on the Mortal Kombat story, and we're going to talk to them about that in a second. But before we get started, as we always say, this build is uh, is not our most current build, so there are some things on this build that could change before release. And release is a little over a month away, so we hope you're excited about that. Um, also... If you look down below, you'll see that you can follow us on Twitch, so please take a moment right now to follow us on Twitch. All right? That's enough time, I think, right? Yeah. Good. So we should get started and get right into it. This, uh, the title today is A Story 25 Years in the Making, which talks about how this story is 25 years after the last one. Before we get to that, Don, you want to tell everyone who you are and what you do around here? Sure. Uh, again, my name is Dominic Cianciolo. I'm the cinematic director here at NetherRealm. Uh, I co-write and direct the uh, story in the game, um, along with many, many other people. Uh, I've been here since Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe, was the first one that I directed cinematics for, and then started getting, getting involved with writing in uh, Mortal Kombat 2011, and also with Injustice. All right. I'm Brian Chard. I'm a sound designer here at uh, the NetherRealm Studios. I've mm -hmm. been here since... Back in the midway days, I came in as a writer for sports game commentary. That was new to me. I didn't know that part. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I help write the story along with our friends John Greenberg and John Vogel, of course. And uh, I'm involved with the casting, the voice direction uh, at the recording sessions, and work with Dominic to get the timing of the VO all set for the story. Excellent. So before we, we go today, we're going to show you a little bit of the story, which people have been really excited to see. We're going to show you a little bit of Chapter 1, because as you know, Johnny Cage is now confirmed for Mortal Kombat X. Yeah, I see him on your character selection. He's on the character selection down there. Uh, so we're going to show you a little bit of the story here in a little bit, but first we kind of want to go through how it gets made. Sure. So uh, first question, um, how do you start structuring a story like this? Like what, what structure are we looking at for Mortal Kombat X? Uh, well, the structure for the Mortal Kombat X story was inspired a lot by the second of the two Godfather films, and that we have sort of the main story, which is telling... Uh, our, our primary adventure of dealing with Outworld and the Civil War with Melina and Kotal Kahn and also the threat that then face, everyone faces. But at the same time then, taking spots uh, within the story itself to do flashbacks, to wrap up how the last story ended, what transpired based on the cliffhanger we left there, and then also allow us to get into the history of the new character we've added and also find out how some of our older characters that are returning, what happened to them before we get to the main body of the story. Right. Um, so, like, again, can, so someone can sit down with this without really knowing the lore and, and really get a good starting point here. I would think so. We took great pains to try to make everything as clear as possible with the new characters and also what happened to the characters that were there before gotcha. so that uh, somebody can jump in fresh and not have to worry about getting lost. What, now, what excited you about having all these offspring characters, some of them we haven't talked about yet, but then somebody like Cassie Cage. What, what's the exciting part about being able to write something like that? Well, I mean, something we started in, in Mortal Kombat 2011 and then accelerated in this game was really contextualizing and providing um, well-rounded presentations of all the characters. So bringing the offspring in allowed us to see all these characters in a brand new way. I mean, Johnny as a parent, Sonya as a parent, even uh, some of the other announced characters as yeah. parents. Uh, and then it just helped to flesh it out and bring more emotion and more uh, drama into the story. Right, it's interesting you had mentioned, too, about how what it's like giving Johnny a daughter. Yeah. I mean, certainly, it's a very different situation with him as a son. You kind of, you won't necessarily see the same kind of growth mm -hmm. with Johnny sort of having this uh, womanizing past. Now that he has a daughter to deal with, how does that change him as a person and perhaps mellow him out? 
right? Now, you, uh, uh, Brian, you have a lot, and we get a lot of great responses. You have a lot to do with the the writing and putting together of all of the 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 things they say to each other on walkout during the beginning mm -hmm. of the match. Yes, yes. What were some of the fun things about that? Like, well, it's uh, you know I, I enjoy writing for Johnny and for uh, Cassie because they're both smart Alex, and, right. and it's fun to see what comes out of their mouth. But uh, you know, you you look at certain relationships and you go, what could these two possibly have to say to each other? But uh, you know, during the process, I've discovered and. You know, everybody that helped write, there were a lot of us, uh, we discovered that actually there are really cool, fun exchanges that you can have with two characters who might, on the surface, have nothing in common. So, uh, so you, were able, fun. you were able to do lore-based ones, some that aren't based on lore, just yeah. some fun stuff. Yeah, there's some that's uh, complete jokes. There are some that are canon. There are some that aren't canon. There are some that might turn out to be canon. <laughs> so, yeah, some, <laughs> some mentions of characters who are otherwise not in the game, all kinds of fun stuff. And uh, we've noticed that too, that there there will be a lot of characters throughout the entire expanse of all of the world of Mortal Kombat yes. will maybe show up at times you don't expect them to. They might. So, could happen. Yeah. Uh, one of the funny stories you guys told me about um, was when you guys have, like, you know, you have a writing team and sometimes maybe not everyone's on board with the same idea. It's hard to believe that, yeah. Uh, right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, we have a process by which we, uh, well... The four of us, John, John, Dominic, and myself, come up with the story up into the part where we're actually writing the script, and then Greenberg goes off to solve our technical problems mm -hmm. because he's that kind of genius. So uh, the three of us, John, and, and we write the script, and so whenever it's two to one, and it happens a lot, the loser who gets outvoted is said to be Detroit Rock City, based mm -hmm. on the popular Kiss song. So not only do we have to say to you, the loser, you are outvoted, but we then have to go, dead, 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 dead. And that, you have to give him the riff as well. Yeah, yeah, the riff. Yeah. Rub, rub it with the riff. Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Um, I was just playing the other day and noted, I was like, oh, how, how is Cassie and uh, that a character that's not announced yet uh, going to interact? And I was like, and then it happened. I'm like, oh, that's great. I would have never expected them to have a relationship. Yeah. yeah. There are times I'll go through it and, and just I'll sit at my desk, like after work, and I'll just pick characters and go, I don't know what they say, what do they say? And I'll start mixing and matching. And then a lot of them have. More than like, there's more than one for a lot of them. So oh yeah, there's... yeah. I had to reload that match like five times, testing something, yeah. and I heard a whole bunch of different uh, things in there. I remember seeing the email go out of like, hey, studio, anyone have any ideas for these more connections? Mm -hmm. And I'm sure you know, I'm I know sure. a lot of people had. Yeah, I, I think we we talked about it a little bit. I'm sure a lot of people were like, here's a bunch for Johnny Cage. <laughs> uh, you know, surprisingly, uh, it was pretty balanced. Really? Um, yeah, yeah. People came up. For uh, conversations with people whom you wouldn't think they would jump right on, right? You know, so, yeah. Well, excellent. Is there any other sort of like a uh, anything about writing or anecdotes you guys would like to add about sort of the process of creating what we've done here? <laughs> well, I mean, the writing process itself is fueled by very uh, dark chocolate. Constantly. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's what keeps us going through these hour-long meetings. We spend a lot of time in a room together. And yeah. It definitely helps. We it, and you, and I think one of the hardest parts might be, as I've learned, <laughs> being doing community here, and Sean yourself as well on Twitter. You guys have to be very careful with the lore. Yes. Yeah, and uh, there are lore requirements. There are gameplay requirements because yeah. you know ultimately the story serves the gameplay. So mm. you know there needs to be a balance among the opponents, number of times you fight them, right. the backgrounds. Make sure you fight in every background, things like that. So Excellent. yeah, so it's a miracle it even gets written. <laughs> <laughs> we can go real quick, Jen, to the, uh, the their, their social. The, these guys both have Twitter. Yes. Um, yes. Set your three, watch six minutes. About six minutes. All right, guys. We're gonna play that now. And thank you guys so much for helping out. Um, it's great hearing about the story. I love hearing every part about how this is made. So this cool. is great. Thanks, guys. Thank, thank you. you. Destination. Head ahead. Set it down nice and easy for me. Don't I always? If by always you mean not once, Major? All right, you have the rendezvous coordinates, far into the forest. From there we access the portal to Raiden's Sky Temple. Where there's an angry former elder god and his devils waiting for us. Gods, portals, flying demons. Blind guys with magic swords. <laughs> the world has changed. For the worse, if we do not expel Shinnok from Raiden's temple. He means to poison Earthrealm's life force. 
the Jinsei. And we're not gonna let that happen. Kenshi and I appreciate the Major allowing us to join you. We're happy to help kick Shinnok's bony ass back to the Netherrealm. Getting a little ahead of yourself, aren't you? Gotta get back to the chopper. Sonia, get out of there! was unpleasantly cold. Warn 
I liked it better when we fought on the same side. <coughs> you okay? We fared better than the men. Add them to the list of things Shinnok will answer for. Do you have a way, like, also, like, if a, an actor is doing something, do you have close-ups of them, too, doing the same yeah, thing? Yes, so, uh, as Dan mentioned, when we're, uh, when the... Actors are doing all of their thing in, in motion capture. We actually are filming the actors for a video reference to utilize uh, when animating our, uh, the facial. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah good. Um, I think, oh, this is a good question. We kind of yeah. talked about to Dom and Brian about this as well. Uh, having the children of popular characters are now mm -hmm. in the game. Um, as animators, is there a way that you are able to kind of characterize them or, make, or give them sort of, kind of go through that a little bit? Yeah, so like, you know, uh, as we're animating, we're taking the performances that the actors and actresses gave us in the motion capture studio and kind of uh, polishing and enhancing those performances. Um, when we can, we look for opportunities to add in little tidbits that kind of reflect, you know, the characters themselves. So, like, um, there's been opportunities where we put in gestures or poses that Cassie does that are a reflection of, you know, something that Johnny does somewhere else in the story mode. It's like living with someone or being with someone for so yeah, long. Yeah, kind of we pick kind up of their mannerisms and habits and, and stuff, stuff like that. We try She's not happy that I forgot to do that. <laughs> um, so we're going to show that video now. Thank you guys for helping out today. Absolutely. Thank awesome. you. Awesome. Right. Go ahead. Set her down nice and easy for me. Don't I always? If by always you mean not once. Major. You have the rendezvous coordinates, far into the forest. From there, we access the portal to Raiden's Sky Temple. Where there's an angry former elder god and his devils waiting for us. Gods, portals, flying demons. Blind guys with magic swords. The world has changed. For the worse, if we do not expel Shinnok from Raiden's Temple. He means to poison Earthrealm's life force, the Jinsei. And we're not gonna let that happen. Kenshi and I appreciate the Major allowing us to join you. We're happy to help kick Shinnok's bony ass back to the Netherrealm. There are some good ones. He has one in particular that's pretty damn good. So I'm going to, uh, I'll pick Kano because I think there's some, uh, yeah, I'm a little partial. Kano. 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 I'll select the uh, fisticuffs variation here. Let's, let's um, do it in the, uh, let's go to the market. Okay. Why are those others grayed out? Because we haven't shown them yet. Oh, Although you may have seen it. touches of them in yeah, uh, some of our trailers. Some of the trailers, yeah. So we're going to do the intro and we will not talk over it. What do you want, me? So there's ice cream in Outworld, Chubby? <coughs> That's your last go at me. Round one. Fight. It's probably an issue because you don't hear it anymore. There you go. That's That's right. So you don't know that you're talking They don't realize that I can't hear anything. So you're not stupid. No. It's just not here. Well, uh, so one thing you will first of all notice, like every variation, fisticuffs, there is a visual indicator to tell you which one you're using. Besides up in the corner, he's wearing those. Yep, he's got the, the uh, brass knuckle bling on there. The, the cage it's rings. Both of his uh, hands there. So let's kind of get started and talk about uh, what stuff, what kind of moves are always with Johnny Cage. Okay, um, so everyone should be familiar with his uh, pretty traditional moves. He's got the uh, fireball and the hand version. Uh, he's got the trident and the uh, shadow kick there. Um, he's got the classic uh, punch there. <laughs> the expert punch. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Results in pop-up. Yep, we get a pop-up off the uh, um, 
Um, and then he's got, uh, currently in this trade, he has uh, this flip kick, which is, or a variation, I should say, he has another uh, one more with it. Well. Um, he also has, you want to do the, uh, the red? Yeah, yeah. One of the pretty unique things and very uh, damaging things in this variation is that when Johnny Cage turns uh, into danger mode, low health, he, uh, he gets all of his red stuff, which kind of the old glitch, not the old glitch. Yes, an Easter egg. An Easter egg that. Yes, that's true. Um, so, yeah, so as he has this, he will get a new throw. Punch me one more time. Yeah. Oh. So, he has a new throw here. So, I'll go ahead and keep it down. So, as he's red, he gets more more health, more damage. Or not more uh, health, more damage on all of his uh, moves. Go ahead and do well, show, show real quick the uh, the stuff he kind of gets with Fisticuffs. Okay, so in his uh, this variation, he has this buff. There it is. Cracks his knuckles together there, and you can see he's got the uh, blade coming off his knuckles. While he has this, he does a uh, chip damage uh, increase. So if you want to block there, you'll see here's the four. So it's the average. You can block that one. So you can see it's very minor. Right. Um, and now when you activate this. It's pretty considerable there. So. Yeah, so this 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 Johnny Cage is a really good Johnny Cage to. Uh, this will favor the rush down, the aggressor, someone who likes to stay on top of the opponent and not uh, get the Because we know that from the old you know, Johnny Cage from K9, getting in there in the corner doing some chip damage is really like yep. where he shines. Especially um, especially with the uh, the run mechanic, it's going to allow a lot more combo, especially if you able to run and get on the guy. For example, like this, see if I can charge that up. I can then the other. So after you knock down the guy, you can go right into the, uh, right into the power up. Um, I'm going to get me down. Sure. Show you. Speak up a little bit for the guys there, Mike. Sure. Uh, no problem. Do um, a couple more. Okay. So right here, he should. There we go. All of these. Uh, you notice the damage there? Pretty chunky. I'll go to the block so you know. Right. But, um, yeah, I'll do it there. R2. R2. Right. The EX uh, shadow kick here, full screen, it's hard to see that there, but you'll hit full screen. And he also has a new string as well, uh, yes. which is really This is the, the coup de gras, this will kill you, but we'll um, we'll show you, right, we'll kill you with it. So I'll do it uh, with it here, if you hold um, away and you do this, he kind of does a little flurry punch. Normally, you know, it's pretty devastating, but when you have this buff, it goes into super chip mode, and then you can see... Yep, I'm down in danger there. Yep. In the corner, that is just... Yeah, you can do a lot of crazy, you know, classic MK juggle combos in the corner with that stuff. But you know, off on. So that's really good, yeah, that's throwing right the there. autograph down as usual. Johnny so that's a really good thing for guys who really like getting in there, rushing in, doing their damage, mm -hmm. turning on chip, and... You followed me. You need me here. Has anyone ever agreed with that statement? Round one. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah. where are the shades? Uh, this is called stunt double, and there's just there's one major reason it's called that. Yeah, and this one he does lose the flip kick, but he does gain this. He's got his little tr trusty uh, stunt double there, which gives him two charges of his special moves, physical uh, physical special moves. So he's got one shadow kick that he can shoot, or I can shoot my other one. I'm also able to follow them up. So say I were to shoot this out here, I can kind of chase after it, you know. Right. Um, let me get some. So like an example, pretty much after any kind of string, you might want to, you know, power yourself up right there, and you can do some pretty cool stuff. Just pop the guy up, you know, charge in, do a run combo like that. Really cool. Keep yourself safe. I can't believe you hit that first try. Me too. I practiced really that good. for like an hour. I was like, oh, <laughs> went autopilot right there. Good times. Um, let's see. So he's got also his fireball. In this version, um, it stays straight. You know, you don't get the uh, right. but you still can do the uh, punch when he gets here. So in this one, you still get the, the double. So the mimic does allow for a lot of yeah. And this one's great too. Stuff. I know, like when when I play cage, I'm always I always try to do wake up uh, shadow kick all the time, and it's, you know you're gonna get punished that way. But here, your shadow kick will you can do it from mid screen. Yeah, yeah. So. That's one of the things too. Like it's kind of. Um, you see a lot of projectile, and character a single projectile, or a single hitting move, and they throw it out. Um, I playing some matches with you guys um, the other day, and I haven't really put too much like, serious time in uh, the cage target, learning all the intricacies. 
Right. But after these past few days, I realized he's got a lot of cool, um, a lot of cool little characters. Right. Yeah. But like, so you want to see like a fireball or something? Let's see. Well, I wasted. But basically, like, if right. you were to zone someone out, he has a pretty much an instant, right. like, you know, get right next to me kind of move. Mm -hmm. uh, like, you know, full EX. Uh, um, but yeah, the mimic adds a lot of great comfort, a lot of jokes. So, I mean, obviously, that kid corner stuff is pretty, pretty. Right. Uh, I'd frame that. So that that Johnny, Johnny this Johnny King has a very good way of kind of you can stay mid screen, but he also has some stuff to get in quickly. Yep. Using the mimic, all the yep. mimics. You get a lot. Nice to see ya. Must everything be a joke? Yeah, it does. Round one. Fight. We also have no idea what they just said. I don't know what they said. I'll have to look at it later when we watch the stream. This is A list Johnny Cage. Now, what what can A list do? Um, this is kind of a technical little trickster kind of fake out maneuver. Um, Variation. He can. He still has the flip kick here, but most of the specials he can now charge and kind of dash cancel in and out of. So if I just do the regular flip kick, if I do the regular flip kick, you can't really juggle it. But if I get any kind of um, held version of it, it's easier to give me any kind of juggle. If I hold the full version, you get a pretty big combo. You know, you can do any kind of stuff after that. Right. Um, same thing is uh, a way to and his other trait is just or other variations it just knocks the guy straight away but this one you're also able to charge him. charging his back punch too yeah and as well as being able to bash him in and out so you can kind of big wake up someone not really much and also like even his shadow kick in food also is able to well shadow kick as well can hold that down there's a lot of just tricky variations with this to keep going in and going for a throw, or actually throw the move out there. For sure. Um, the one big thing in this one that's going to create a lot of uh, unsafe situations, make him safe if you got meter, is in this one his nut punch, um, it can be meter burn on reaction, like hit confirm. So normally in the other versions, if you EX the nut punch, you're pretty much committed to it, and if they block, you have to eat the recovery and potentially a big combo. But in this one, I see a hit, oh, I can meter burn at any time, and uh, Go right into me again. So you can kind of throw it out willy nilly as long as you have a meter, your opponent has pretty much respect. You know, mm -hmm. they really can't do this round. Well, that was like, like a sick nut punch, dude. Nice job on that. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Is that a thing? Him hitting sick, you sick, sick nuts. You might get rewarded for that. doing that. Who knows? Lot of nut punches. You might. You might get something for that. Sorry, Zub Zub yeah. one G is a yeah, yeah, woman. In, yeah, you don't uh, want that one. Yeah. Maryland, yeah. she's a soccer mom, but you don't want that one. I kid one today. Um, Oh, also, cool. last time we had, uh, sorry, Andy, did we show did we show theirs? Did I forget to show theirs as well? We did show theirs? Show it, yeah. Good. So you can follow all of them on Twitter and find them. Definitely follow at Netherrealm. That's important because that's where we show, give all the information out. Um, so a couple questions. Um, Phil995, we've had a question from him before, Good actually. Good old Phil. Good old Phil. Will story mode scenes be available for later viewing? Yes. They absolutely will. We're not going to say where, but they can be viewed later. So you can always go back and watch the story mode little sections you you uh, you Parts enjoyed. You completed. Yeah, uh, we be able to choose variations in your story mode. Um, you will not be able to. We are we are uh, we're, we're kind of to go with the story. We're picking variations yeah, that are going to make scripted. sense. It's part of the story. The story. Yeah. So you'll you'll learn those that way. Um, just like we always pick characters, it tells the story. Right. We'll start with the variations. We tell we the variations are just as much as important. So. Uh, Battle Scar, if people are wondering, it's uh, Ermac 121, a man after my own heart. Uh, Ermac, do we have battle, battle damage? Yes, there's a ton of battle that's damage. That's a lot. Yeah, I think better than battle damage, like, I mean, not better than, but the thing that makes it better is, uh, that's the one we're currently in, it's a bad example, but a lot of the backgrounds you can see, like in the dusty ones, you'll start to see the dust collect, mm -hmm. or in the, like, in the jungle, you'll start to see the water. Some mud and water, yeah. Specific, yeah. specific types. Uh, yeah, there's definitely, like, if there's people who cut, there's little, there's little gashes. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's actually pretty, I don't want to say exactly accurate, but close to accurate to where the damage is actually being yeah. taken. Yeah, so, like, a lot of different types of cuts and based on the yeah. weapons they're using and the types yeah, of Yeah, it's attacks. a lot of work some people had to do to uh, <laughs> every move. That move damages here. Right, right. But shout yeah, out I, to Evan for doing that. Evan, it is, shout out. Shout out. So it's funny because when I sometimes I'll play by myself and we practicing. I'll practice for a long, long time, and my I haven't reset, and the character's just like yeah. covered. Um, it's awesome though looking. Um, another thing, this is this is big. This is something big we're gonna do right now. Um, people have been asking for some more de deconfirmations of characters, and mm -hmm. uh, I spoke with Ed today, and we would like to deconfirm a character. I know last time we did Jade. Uh, Mocap. Oh, see, I thought you guys were doing an email bit. I didn't know that was going to be on the stream. I feel bad doing that joke earlier. No, no, it's fine. But oh, we, okay. It still works. Um, <laughs> so, Mocap, RIP 2015, 
Uh, Mocap will not be in the game. Of course we tried to have him in the game. His variations were much too strong. He would have been a tournament favorite for years to come. Right. Throwing the mocap balls. I like that you imply that we built that entire yeah. character. That he turned into a monster. Never mind. Remove mo from never the game. mind. So Nine months worth of effort. Draws right. it aside. And of course, you know, uh, we just couldn't fit mocap into the story. You know, it's yeah, he's a tough, real tough go with the story. So mocap will not be appearing in Mortal Kombat X. Was that a question? Uh, people just want us to deconfirm oh. some more characters. Oh, okay. Okay. So this time it's mocap. Um, will we unlock a character at the end of story mode? Yes. Yes, you will. Can I say who? No, you can't. Oh, can I say who? Uh, same as Sean, you can't. No. no. All right. Jen, you can't either. No. Sorry. She oh, she, she did, but you couldn't She's hear. mouthing yeah, she, she, yeah. like She's telling she's us right now. Uh, another question is, like, people want to know how long of a story mode do we have? And it's very substantial. I'm not going to say how many chapters there are, but if you remember... No spoilers. No spoilers. Mortal Kombat uh, 2011 was a, quite a beefy story. You can expect something very similar to that. So it's a good, well portioned, long story. Yeah, when you watch the whole thing, like it, it's such a movie now. The guys, the, everybody, I mean, even the tech guys who helped with the tool, the tools to make it look so great. You know, on top of all the cinema team and the script guys, like it just looks like you're watching a movie. I forget a lot of the interactive story elements because I'm like just watching like a movie. I'm like, oh, oh, right. And I've actually played the helicopter scene a couple times. So like, talking about interactive stories again, where I can see how, like you can make it so you miss them all. So Johnny Cage is just getting his ass kicked. And then you win the last one. And right, it's a different story if you... It's a different it. arc to the fight if you keep missing different ones. And they're all totally different animations. And it's really cool to see. And there's quite a few of those in the game. Um, like the unicorn one. Oh, right, right. <laughs> unicorn, confirmed. Uh... Also, Matt Jones, a uh, big fan of Mortal Kombat, a big fan of the studio. It's his, it was his birthday the other day, so we, we've been giving out some birthday shout-outs. Yeah, so that's birthday. a birthday shout-out to you, Matt. Shout-out. Shout-out. Um, you know what? That is the questions we have today. So I think we're okay. done with questions. Terrific. We, I want to thank you, Mike, first of all, for coming out thank to show you. us some JC. I know that you don't play a lot of them. You do now, obviously, because yeah. you're a Scorpion guy. Yeah. I well, think I'm... When we played our matches, we had to pick someone who's like, I need to win, and mm -hmm. I go with Scorpion. Right. My, I, maybe, oh, I thought you were saying it's them. Just give us the day. It'd be <laughs> easier. Wouldn't it be easier if you just gave them a day? It sure would, but we don't have that for you quite yet. But next time, we have some really cool stuff to show you, and I know we have shown quite a few new characters from our story stream that you want to see them played. We're going to give you that really soon. Today, we wanted to really focus on Johnny, and we did. And don't forget, Jason's coming out. Uh, game's out in like a month. <laughs> That's really good. So thank you all for joining us on this combat cast. Hope you enjoyed the story and all of our guests. And next time we have some pretty cool stuff to show you. We'll let you know really soon.